In this video, I'm going to talk about core beliefs and why finding out what you think and believe about yourself at the core of who you are, why that's so, so important. To start off here, I'm going to ask you a question. I just want you to think about this. What would it be like if you were to really realize and accept, really know that who you are at the core of your very being is okay? Who you are at the very core of your being is fundamentally enough, fundamentally acceptable, fundamentally good. Core beliefs are the thing that probably determines our life more than anything else. And these core beliefs are the beliefs that show up again and again in different ways. They're triggered by different, different things in life. But for some of us, you know, it could be about not feeling good enough, could be a core belief that's in there. I'll never make enough money. I'll never meet anybody etc etc these core beliefs that we have and the thing is these core beliefs are not really who we are they are sort of a layer that masks who we really are at the core of our being so to get to that core is tricky if, if it's covered up with this layer of limiting limiting beliefs or negativity about who we are or who we think we are the thing about it is who you are at the core of your being is so important because if you're in, in touch with who that is, the fundamental okayness of that, who you are at the, at the center of your being, all these sort of issues that we have in life that surround our life, all the little problems and weaknesses and uh, perceived difficulties that we have about ourselves, all of those things can be accepted. They don't become defining of who we are if we're in touch with who we are at the core of our being. If that part of us is sensed as perfectly enough, that's okay. Because if we, if we are in touch with that, these, these surrounding little issues that we have, we see them more as little things to be, well, I could work on that, and I could look at that and I could do something with that. But always with an awareness and an understanding of even if that doesn't change, I'm still okay. My life can still be okay as it is. Sure, I might like to change a few of these little things. Or I might like to grow, look at them. But if we don't have a sense that who we are at the very core of our being is already okay and enough, these external little problems that we have become the way we define ourselves. So any efforts we make to look at, at these or to change anything in these areas becomes a very, very scary and intimidating task to take on. So it's a readiness to sit with, okay, maybe I do have some problems. Maybe I do have some issues. But do my issues define me, who I am? Do my problems define me? Do my perceived weaknesses define who I am? The core belief, essentially what I'm saying here, that we really need to look at is, I'm not enough. There's something fundamentally wrong with me. And until I change this and this and that thing, I can't be happy or I can't have a functioning, peaceful life a valuable life in which I feel like I'm receiving and contributing to, to the world. So this belief comes up again and again. It can be, as long as it's there, it'll get triggered. It'll get triggered by other people. It'll get triggered by social situations. It can get triggered by your bank account. It can get triggered by every time you look in the mirror, you'll see something that reflects that inner belief that's there. And when we're working with core beliefs, 
what I tell people is, okay, you can inquire into this, into the truthfulness of this belief that there's something wrong with me. I'm not enough. And you might do some inquiry in that core belief and you might feel a sense of relief uh, to see, well, maybe there's not as much to this as I thought. And a day goes by and the core belief comes right back in again, even after you did all this work on it. And the thing with a core belief is that this is a really important thing. Sometimes it takes repetitive work on a core belief before it can start to soften and fade off. So I've known people to do work on core beliefs for months and that's consistent work on core beliefs. And I really tell people like, look at this core belief. It's been coming up for, for years here. Conditioned to believe this core belief, this story about myself. So don't be afraid if it keeps resurfacing. In fact, that's the best thing that could possibly happen because it means now I can really start to do a little bit more work on this and look at this core belief that I'm carrying. Ultimately, when it does fade off, what you're left with is who are you at the core of your being? And it may, be, it may not feel like it resonates with you right now, perhaps, but who you are at the core of your being is okay. It doesn't need to change. It can be open to working on things and looking at things, but from a secure foundation of, it's okay. I'm okay now. Okay, I don't have to change anything. So we need that security before we can actually even start to think about any of these uh, additional changes that are, that are good, that are fine, but they're not defining, okay? So don't be afraid to Look at a core belief again and again if, it, if it's going to come up because the more it comes up, we can't actually do anything with it until it comes up. It gets triggered by something and it shows itself. So core beliefs are very, very important, but it is possible to change core beliefs because it's really just conditioning. We've believed it for so long and we've told it to ourselves for so long, often unconsciously, almost always unconsciously, until it gets triggered by something. It's just a conditioned pattern of thought. Right, and we need to just look at it for a while until we start to let it down. Ultimately, we pick up these core beliefs. And the problem is we believe that is by holding on to them, that's the thing that makes us safe. There's actually a feeling of insecurity or anxiety that comes up when we start to experiment with just putting it down. Because we've learned that to talk to ourselves in this way is actually a safety strategy for us. It doesn't make you a bad person if you have a core belief. Like I think most of us have some kind of a negative core belief, really. So what we're all trying to do, I think, is use the opportunities when they do surface and realize, okay, it's okay if I'm, if I'm resistant to putting this down. That's a completely the natural response because somewhere in the past I learned that I have to believe this about myself if I'm going to be safe. So be patient with ourselves is what I'm saying too when we're working on these core beliefs. But ultimately, they will change. They'll lead to external changes too in life, um, healthier environments, healthier relationships, which will again reinforce this new perspective or this original perspective of ourselves before maybe trauma came on board, which is, I'm fine. I'm okay the way I am. And I, it's free now to express who I am, express my authentic personality to others. So guys, I hope that's a useful piece of information here about core beliefs ultimately if we can get to the point where we realize who i fundamentally am is okay right now that's what we're aiming for so thanks for being with me today and i'll see you again in the next video bye for now